So we've made it to South Glasgow Creek, tiny little thing. And the trail just follows it up the left bank. Finally made it to the dry creek bed. Got turned around a bunch in the boggy area where the horses take a different route than the hikers, but finally made it through. Ran into two horses, talked to them for a bit, and they turned around just up here for some reason. Elbow River down that way says to be blocked off. This junction is the cut line back home. This valley is nice to walk through. Pretty good trail. Tucked away from the wind today at least. Oh, maybe I was wrong. This is the junction to the cut line. Head and right. And there's Nahahi. Just came across a second cairn after that stick cairn. And it looks like there's a cut line up there. So we'll have to check, see if this is an alternate route to those peaks. Well, after the willowy meadow, the trail has cut into this valley. It was pretty tight going through up until now. It just cleared out. But the trail's been defined. We're about a kilometer and a half from Big Elbow Fire Road. And I think it'll look like this the whole way. Because this is super defined, so we'll be good. Still on excellent trail and the stony creek bed. The fire road's just out there. So we're super close, a couple hundred more meters. Just starting the ascent of Elbow Hill, just off Big Elbow Trail. This is the view from four minutes up the hill. This is the viewpoint. And I'm pretty sure that the summit doesn't have a better view than this. This is up Elbow Hill, about 100 meters gain to the top still. No trail, traverse back and forth, nothing. Just some game trails that lead down and not up. So glad I did this today instead of on my backpacking trip as an extra objective, because this is not good. Pretty sure there's no payoff at the top. This is the summit. And as I was expecting, the viewpoint is way better. Elbow Hill. Eight ticks. This was pretty shitty. Not much good about it. No trail all the way to the top. At cairn number two, the circle rocks. This marker is on the tree. And I think the trail's up there for some of the peaks. 
Oh, just to note. <laughs> and this is the view from 44B, the cut line. Trail looks good. So this is what the typical cut line looks like. Super straightforward path. Recommended as a shortcut. There's the bridge off in the distance, so I'm on my way back. Time to give the day a rating. Already rated Elbow Hill. It was whack. Cut line is just an access, no use rating that. But the Glasgow Creek Loop will give it a 6 ticks out of 10. It was pleasurable, but nothing memorable. So, mid-grade on that.